there's nothing extra given for this robot, hence they call it essential. For the accessories, you have a combination tank. So the dust compartment and the water tank is combined into one. And here is where you refill the water. And below it, you have the mop pad that you can take it off, give it a rinse, slot it right back. And behind, you have two side brushes. So what you see is what you get for this model. And then they have a charging dock with a cable. So what I like about this is that you can twirl the cable and it becomes shorter. So you don't have excess wires hanging in the air. So it looks much neater. And you plug it in. Note that this is a budget model. The suction power is 2200 PA, slightly more than the Mod Pro. Battery life is 2500 mAh, and it's using gyroscope to map. Not the smartest, but it will work for smaller homes. For this robot, it has very basic app functions. So you can start and stop the robot. You can control the suction setting, the water level, and under more settings, you can schedule the cleanup to start every day at a certain time. And then vacuum spot basically is to use it as a virtual remote control. Instead of having something physical, you can do it all from the app. And cleaning history is to allow you to see where it has cleaned and then it even shows you a map and you can 
check out the duration here as well. So you have do not disturb mode, voice settings for different languages, consumable statistics is to tell you how often you should replace these brushes. I am here. So if you lose the robot, you can find it through the app. And then there is an option to vacuum along the edges. So if you enable it, it will just clean along the edges the next time. So yeah, this is very basic. It is a robot that's good enough to clean and mop. But if you need more app functions like virtual walls, restricted zones, spot cleaning, then this robot is not for you. Here's what I think about an essential robot. It's affordable, great for cleaning and mopping a small space. Over here, I have two other robots. This is the vacuum mop using the visual sensor and gyroscope. And here I have the vacuum mop pro using the laser navigation system. In terms of mapping technology, this outranks the other two, followed by this and the essential. In terms of suction power, the vacuum mop has the highest suction power, followed by the essential and the mop P. Oh yes, there's one feature that I really like about the essential robot dust compartment, is this flap here. So when a robot is not vacuuming, this flap, it stays down. So it only goes up when there's air going through, and it helps to keep out the ants from entering because sometimes there are food waste in here and I really appreciate this. Size-wise, the vacuum mop and the essential, they're about the same size. This has a glossy surface compared to matte and the mop pro has a laser cap that is protruding upwards. So this is the only robot that could not go underneath the bed frame. When it comes to mopping, the mop pro is the most efficient, but I like using the vacuum mop for one reason, the tank is attached to the mop, which saves me the trouble of removing both the tank here and the mop pad. And then I have to refill the tank, wash the mop pad and put it back. Instead, on the vacuum mop, I just have to remove one item and I can do both at the same time, which is to refill the water, wash the mop pad, put it back and it's ready to go. So which robot do I recommend? It really depends on your space. Do you have a lot of things on the floor? If you do, go for the mop P. If you don't, I suggest the vacuum mop or the essential.